So, the word conspiracy theorist is a word that was created to come after the people that seek the truth. Anybody that goes against the set narrative is what they would consider a conspiracy theorist. What is a conspiracy theorist according to the definition? A conspiracy theorist is the idea that there is a small group of rich, powerful people that seek to control the world with a totalitarian government, a one world religion, a one world monetary system, and a one world leader. Brothers and sisters, this is not a conspiracy. This is biblical prophecy. And if me telling you that this is a fact makes me a conspiracy theorist because I'm going off the word of the Most High Yahuwah, then I guess I'm just a conspiracy theorist. There's nothing wrong with asking questions. In the days and times in which we live, asking questions is being demonized. Asking questions makes you an extremist. Asking questions makes you a problem to democracy. But I beg to differ. So many times you hear, trust the science. Trust the science. Now, I may not be a scientific scholar, but isn't it basic knowledge that science is supposed to be questioned? How do you think that a scientist comes up with a hypothesis? They question things. But see, the problem is, in order to fight against those like me who are revealing the truth, they had to come up with a trigger word that will automatically make people tune you out when you speak on these kind of things. The truth of the matter is, you have people like Joe Rogan, people like Alex Jones. These men are part of the establishment. They're what you call control opposition. They're put in place to make people like me look crazy. We cannot trust man. We cannot trust their so-called idea of science. What we must do is trust God. And no matter how much they demonize us and make fun of us and call us crazy, Lucifer has always conspired to be like God. And everything that we are seeing take place is the truth of the devil conspiring against the Most High. Let's pray. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this day, Father. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the mediums in which we're able to share your word, Father. We thank you for the body of believers that accept and know that you are the only way and through your son is the only way to righteousness, Father. And as they continue to attack those that stand on your word, Father, we ask that you give us the strength, the resilience, and the prosperity to not allow the lies of the enemy to break us down, Father. Father, we aim to live and do your will, Father. We aim to one day see your face that we might dwell with you in the Shamayim. That's heaven in Hebrew. Father, we thank you for your rock, Hakwadesh. We thank you for the discernment of the times. And we thank you for your love, for your grace, and for your spirit, Father. And we ask that you dwell with us in these last days, Father. That we be not deceived, but 
that we are able to be watchmen and we are able to warn the world that one day they will have to make a decision about whom they serve. Hallelujah, Father. Praise Yahuwah. Bless your holy name, Father. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your son. Thank you for your word. 